guys, we're back at it again with another video. And in this video, we're going to be playing some BTD battles with my close friend. You know what? Make the best friend, who's also coincidentally my cousin, Manu Kemo. So with no further delay, let's get right to it. Okay, guys, let's get right into the challenge of Dark Monkey Only Challenge, which is a one tower challenge that we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be picking this map, Patch, as we think it's one of the better ones for this challenge. So let's get into it. Confirm. So obviously the tower you want, as you can probably guess, is the Dart Monkey. So Dart Monkey and the other two towers don't matter, and obviously we don't want a bonus because it's a one tower challenge. So the reason we're taking three towers is because we don't have a choice. You can't start a game with only the Dart Monkey. So yeah, what do you think about the challenge, Manu Gamu? I feel like this challenge. This might sound like comic booky or yeah, comic book esque. Might be challenging, no pun intended, but it might oh, really? actually be difficult. Yep, probably. Okay, so, placement. What you want to do for placement is actually place these spike pulse or juggernauts right here, as you can see where I placed them, and as where Manu can place them. As then, they, I'll show you with my dart monkey, they just go straight like this and shoot in a straight line. And they can shoot as they can cover this much area for popping stuff. While if you just put it over here, then it'll just pop this little area. That would not help. So you want to put one here so you can get this whole entire line, and also so you can get eco. If you put one here, then you could it would be good because it would get this entire line. But then it wouldn't get people who are sending eco. So that's where you want to place it, and you want to get to be honest off the bat. Uh, I would say a three zero or a three two juggernaut right away and then you just want to start sending eco what do you think about that i think your placement tactics are on point and the thing is that the two three or the o three um dark monkeys are extremely good for early game mm -hmm. and uh and the fact is that o three what i mean by o three is like like zero on the left side and three on the right side or by two three two on the left side and three on the right side upgrades wise yep i'm gonna get a zero three over here because it's getting a bit hectic and just to explain what manu kemo said there on my side as obviously we don't have video here what he means by that is i'm gonna put down the dart monkey to show that two three would be two upgrades on the left side like i just did and then it'd be three upgrades on the right side which would be sharp shots, laser sharp shots, and then triple dart. But obviously, at the moment, I don't have enough money for that. And also, we want 500 eco as a point because these towers are extremely low priced. And obviously, low priced is better for us, and we don't need too much eco. So right now, we're just trying to make as like get to 500 eco as quickly as possible. I'm gonna stick to sending blues because too much eco. Too much um, balloons can actually be fatal in this because yeah. we have nothing at the end. In. Also, what do you think about the dart monkey and how it's rated amongst the com amongst the community? Okay, and the dart monkey, as a lot of people, you know, there is the first card you unlock. It's the first card you have. People think it's really bad, but if you didn't know. The dart monkey early game is extremely powerful. I would say, I would even go out of my way to say it's, it's the best ones. One of the best ones out there. Like, it's on the ninja boomerang level. It's insane. And obviously these all 3 or 2-3 dart monkeys are insane because they have triple dart and they have so much popping potential. And these juggernauts can just destroy a lane by themselves. And they literally nothing can stop them. So, obviously that's really good. So we're just going to keep getting more um, spike bolts and more eco while we're waiting. What do you think of that, Minakamu? I agree. Like, really agree. That is such a true fact. These cards are so underrated. It's actually yeah. kind of funny at times. Yeah. I mean, honestly, late game, I do agree. They do get bad. But early game, they're so vital. They're so good. And as you can see, I'm just sending blue balloons just to get to that 500 eco mark. And as soon as we're at 500, we don't need to send anymore. And, yep. And now we're going to get another spike a pulp. What do you think about the super monkeys or their max gears? 
Yeah, they're maxed here, as some people also think are underrated. Juggernaut, well, Mods already told you, clears out lane like it was a hot knife through butter. And Super Monkey Fan Club, did you know that the Super Monkey Fan Club, you don't need a lot of them, you only need one. And all the all the dark monkeys that aren't juggernauts in its range will turn into super monkeys. And that I feel like many people do not know. And that's such an overpowered, not overpowered necessarily, but it's such a good ability, an emergency ability, that it might even save you at times. Not might, it will save you when you need it. What do you think? Even I did not know that. I did not know that Super Monkey Fan Clubs were so powerful before I did this challenge. Obviously, this has taken us many tries, as we're really bad at this at the start. And we've just been perfecting our strategy. And Super Monkey Fan Clubs are actually amazing now that I look at it. And I haven't played this game for a long time. I never knew they were this good. Really under your cards. As you can see, I accidentally went overboard in my eco, and I'm at 550. But obviously, that's good enough. And now we can just get more juggernauts. As you can see, I got another one here. And we got one here. So, yeah. I want to start sending eco again. I'm only on 300. I haven't been sending. I've more likely been focusing on my defensive. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm just making this huge line of zero threes. As that has so much popping potential that it just gets everything weak to the point when it, like, gets the juggernaut. It's already kind of, If like, you look like, on my side, yeah. you know the hidden... The monkey I have near that, or the first row, the the two threes monkeys I've got. The reason they're two three and not o oh, three is on that line. They can hit when they're when the balloons are about to reach the ending too. So if you have a two three wow. giving it that extra range, it's gonna hit the ending part too. So it can be defensive too. Wow, that's really smart. And also two three can detect camo balloons and destroy them. And obviously, when lead comes out, these juggernaut um, towers are amazing because they just literally go through lead like it's nothing. When I say lead, I mean the metal balloons, if you didn't know. And they literally just go through them, and they can just break. Metal also, like that. yeah. Also, also, did you know that I'm poor? I'm quite sure that juggernauts do extra damage against ceramics. Oh wow! I didn't know that. They basically take them out in one or two hits. Oh, wow, that's really cool. See, as you can see, I'm just making a huge line of zero. See those ceramics coming through? They get, they're going down in two hits. Oh, wow, you're right. That's insane. See, as you can see, these juggernauts are insane. You're losing some lives there. You might need another spike couple or a juggernaut, I would say. Yeah, yeah I'm going to need a juggernaut. I need another juggernaut, so I'm going to put one up here and get another juggernaut. Yeah. Obviously, you got to wait out for the money because, you know... Even though they're so lowly priced, they're still priced a bit hefty for juggernauts. For, for the other juggernauts side, not... are hefty. They're one thousand yeah. three hundred, I believe. No, one thousand nine hundred. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, the spike pulp isn't that overpriced. Spike pulp's actually on a good price. It's around eight hundred or something like that. It's five hundred. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, I accidentally just popped me. Super. Um, uh, sorry, that's bad. I guess nothing's getting through for a second. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess nothing's getting through there. Well, I mean, we have three of each there, so it doesn't really matter. We can keep using them to our maximum potential. As you can see, now we have four spike bolts And spike bolts when I say that, I mean juggernauts. Sorry, I might call them that every so often because I forget that there's two different stages. But yeah, and as you can see, we got a huge line of dart monkeys. And this dart monkey that at the end there, that was just for early game because a lot of balloons are getting through to the end and passing my juggernaut. And there's nothing to clean them up at the end, even though they were only one hit. So I just got that at the end so that you can just do the final shot. So yeah. If you guys see my, um, my side, you'll see in the middle there's this big clump of um, dart monkeys. Oh, yeah. That's basically me setting up for uh, a Super Monkey fan club. Oh, wow. So, that's really smart. I have a question for you. Does the Super Monkey fan club, as I don't have been used it that much, I don't really know about this, does it have a certain range that it turns them into? Um, It's the range of your dart monkey. It's the range of your dart monkey. 
Okay, I did not know oh, that. The that's one that's in Super Monkey Fan Club. So that's why you want it in a central location. You can't just have it in the top right corner. Well, okay, everything away. So as you can see, the monkey I've selected, I think I want to make this one into a Super Monkey Fan Club so that all of these around the radius of the circle, or sorry, the diameter of the circle, just get engulfed and turn into uh, also, Super a Monkeys. Also, quick tip. Yep. When you use a Super Monkey Fan Club, also make sure you get two on the left side because that gives your monkey extra range. Oh, yeah, that's true. And also you can't just at that point do a O three, O four actually. Okay, so as what happened to those Moabs? <laughs> they disappeared. Who knew that the first monkeys could be this fatal against these Moabs? Like these are Moabs we're talking about. Insane. They ain't no joke. <laughs> yep, these things go through them like butter. As you can see, this honestly, this video is so honestly even surprising me on seeing how strong these first balloons are. Like, look at this Moab. It just got up to the starting curve, and it's already gone. Second curve, the whole thing's dead. It's amazing. Okay, um, now I guess we're just waiting and seeing how far we get. Round 30. Yeah. That's a real Something that surprises thing. me a lot about Juggernaut is the fact that you can throw it into any place. It's going to hit a balloon, but it's going to keep going. It, like The thing about Moabs is when all your power gets focused on that Moab, there's nothing hitting the smaller balloons around it. So, mm -hmm. basically, that's what that's what kills you. <sighs> that's why you, I, wanted, I, I was thinking about getting more juggernauts back there. Because all my dark monkeys were focusing the Moab, so when like one one Moab one one Moab would pop, all the other balloons would just start running, yeah. while uh, the things focus the Moab. So yeah. that's basically so, what killed me there. Yep. So as you can see, it's over. Round 30 is our record. Who knows? We might do another video on this. And as we've learned so much from this little experience that we had, we probably going to do so much better next time and we will maybe make another video on this or we'll do another one tower challenge and use a different tower and that could be what you guys choose or we choose one tower challenges they can either be depending on your tower they can be the most difficult thing in the world or they can be the most simple thing in the world now those two can exist with each other yep. but like it's usually either or if you're okay, using for example, a mediocre card, go first. I would say the mediocre card or something that's honestly really bad for the sound is actually the spike factory. The spike factory can be so bad in this thing, but sometimes it can do really good. So, yeah. So, and the thing about like spike factories, yeah. it makes it simple but hard. Because for spike trap, spike factories. You really only want basically one side. Yeah. Okay, so that's all for today. We'll see you guys in the next one. Comment below if you have any videos idea or what you would like to see us improve. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out.